probably makes sense at this point to have a brief discussion just about the history of storytelling. Obviously, since human beings have been able to talk, they've been telling stories. And when they traveled long, long time ago, they would travel far, far away, and then after several months, or maybe even several years, they would come back and they would tell stories about their travel experiences, if they were lucky enough to come back. And obviously, the best storytellers are the ones that people listen to the most. And the evidence of these, the best stories and the good stories are the ones that last, the ones that are around with us for the longest time. And we know some of the best stories because they survive with us today in some of our greatest books. Um, many of our religious texts include uh, stories of travel, and we carry those with us today. So storytelling has great historical importance. But in terms of the travel and tourism business, it's something a little bit different. So, entering Cartesia travel magazines, <coughs> this has been around for decades. Um, it's still very relevant today. But with print and travel magazines, a journalist or a travel writer would go to a destination, either on a press trip or